Russell. Hey guys, Mishki here. Oh, today's video is going to be all about transmogs. A whole bunch of cosmetic stuff. So we're going to go over what they are, what they do, how to get them, and why you'd want them. So first off, what is transmogging? Uh, transmogging is taking a piece of gear, armor, or weapon, and making it look like something else. So for instance, my musketeer gear. You can clearly see this hat is not a squid, right? This is a raider helmet. It's not supposed to look like a squid, and yet I'm wearing a squid on my head. Why? Because I'm an eternal goober. Right, now why does it look like a squid? Uh, if you look over here, it says styled fishing hat, right? And actually all my gear is styled as fishing shoulders, styled fishing chest, styled fishing gloves. Everything is fishing. Um, so how did we do that? Well, there's this nifty little closet right here in your player house. So if you enter your player house, boop, that closet, that wardrobe right ahead of you, never mind the horse on the side. This wardrobe right in front of you, this is the transmog closet where you can change the way that everything looks. So in this case, um, I would pick a piece of gear, say my hat, and over here I've got all the different ways I can make the hat look. I can make it look like a strawberry, and it'll give you a little preview, that's what it looks like. I can make it look like a thimble. A pumpkin head, a pot head, a lizard head, whatever that is, glasses, um, you know, other, the, the normal pieces of gear that you can get, uh, this Naruto weeb helmet that I got back in Preborn, pretty much anything, right, a halo, so on and so forth. I really wish I had gotten that Defender crown, I really like the way it looks. That's beside the point, though. Um, you can change the way you look, so helmet you know i can change the chest i can change the shoulders i can change the gloves i can even change the weapon itself if i want so instead of it being the legendary like that i can make it look like what i call the pea shooter right the water gun looking thing i can make it look like that i can make it look like that you can change how that everything looks now i'm not going to because i'm kind of liking the whole fishing setup so that's what transmogging is that's how you do it but mishka you say how do I get those unlocked? How do I get, you know, sand flows in all places? How do I get the bow that looks like that? Well, that's pretty easy to describe. Um, in order to unlock it in your closet, you just need to peek that, break that piece of gear down. So, for instance, if I wanted to get the critter capture gear, right? If you go out to the critter capture guy and you buy the gear and you put it on, cool, you're wearing critter capture gear. But notice that my armor is at 150. Why is it at 150? Why is it at 150? That's a great question. Maybe you just start off with 150 armor naturally? I, who knows? Um, but it, it's clearly not the amount of armor that I should have, right? Uh, any single piece of gear for any class is going to have more than 150 armor. So clearly this is not protecting me. So what you do is you take that gear and you simply break it down. Once you break down the gear, it'll appear in your transmog closet. Now I've already bought that whole set of gear and I've broken it down so you can see Critter Capture chest, right? Um, Battlegrounds chest. I don't think I'm high enough in, in Battlegrounds to have unlocked that. Monster Hunter chest. Oh, I actually don't have that one yet. Okay, cool. So I'll be able to show you since I, uh, as you see, I can't click on Monster Hunter chest. So let's go do that. Let's go get that. I learned something new today. I don't have all the transmogs unlocked. We're gonna go this way. Oh, my in game is disabled. We're gonna go buy that monster hunter chest. There we go. So, what is this? Monster hunter chest. We'll go ahead and buy that for 7,000 RAM. So. Yay, I now have a Monster Hunter chest. But again, if I put that on, right, the armor is 2238. I put that on, we're now down to 1661 because it doesn't actually have any armor. It's just the transmog. So, I'll swap that back out. We'll come on over here. Do, 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 do. All right. Back in the uh, closet. So, where to go? Monster Hunter chest. I cannot click it, right? That one does not exist. We're going to take that. We're going to break it down. Now, if we come back over here, you're going to notice, oh, voila, 
I can now wear the Monster Hunter chest. So yeah, I'm not trolling you guys, I'm not messing with you. You do genuinely need to break the item down in order to unlock it as a transmog. Now, uh, a lot of the gear you can get just by, you know, leveling up and, and, and getting uh, and getting armor. So, you know, all these and whatnot you can get just by playing the game. There are some uh, up here. I believe all of these are from Preborn. So these are no longer acquirable. Um, you had to have played before Reborn launched, gotten that armor and broken it down. I'm a little upset. Uh, I completely understand because I really want the arcane robes. Or the ancient robes, yeah. I really like the way those look. That's like my favorite transmog in the game. But I cannot get it. I can get the techno robes. I can get the spiral robes. I really like the spiral robes. But I wanted the, ar the, the ancient ones and I can't get it. So, trust me, I understand the frustration if the ones that you want are locked out. Um, again, this does work also with uh, with weapons, so break down the weapons, you'll get it. Um, kind of sucks with like legendaries like the plus six. I'm not going to break down my plus six, right? Why would I break it down? So I can't get, unlock the transmog, so if you're a completionist, get ready to get at least two of each legendary if you want it, and have played Preborn, because, you know, Preborn ones. Um, yeah, that's transmogs. There are some that are seasonal events. Like if I come over here, the uh, pumpkin helmet, that's a seasonal thing. I don't know if it'll be back. Uh, same thing with the snowman head. That's a seasonal thing. Again, not sure if it's coming back. That's a question for the devs. Um, so devs, I know you guys watch my videos. Maybe you can uh, let us know if those are coming back. So that's transmogs. That's how you do it. Uh, why would you do it? To look good, of course. Like if I'm going fishing, you know I'm going to look like a fisherman. I'm stylish. Uh, I think that's just about it. Yeah, it does cost dram. Um, so like, we'll just pick some random ones here. I don't know. Yeah, you can do the cape too. I don't know why you would do the cape, but you can do the capes. So yeah, 2,500 uh, plus the cost of you know buying the stuff and breaking it down. So uh, be prepared to spend a little bit of dram if you do that. And I guess there's one last thing that you can do. Uh, because that goes over armor and weapons. What if you want to change the way your character looks? You might have noticed that through the course of me making these videos, almost every week or so, my character looks different. How am I doing that? Well, there's an item that you can buy that will allow you to do that. It's called the Barbershop Token. Come down here to the odds and ends shop, wave at him, and look at that, there's a Barbershop Token. You buy it for 10k Dram, and when you log out, uh, you will be able to select your character and change the way that they look. And you can do that potentially an unlimited amount of times, which is why my character is always looking different, because why not? You know, I, I have fun with it, so. Yep, that's transmogs, that's how you do it and whatnot. Um, as of now, there's no way to kind of preview the way that it would look if you put dye on it. So like if I'm here in the transmog closet, and I want to see what the hat would look like if I put red dye on it. There's no way to do that, unfortunately. But that is something that, um, you know, some of the players are pushing for. So, yep, that's about it. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. If you got any future videos, ideas, let me know. Until then, happy hunting.